In this snappy six minute video, you will learn the basics of parliamentary procedure here at Michigan Youth and Government. We will first introduce parliamentary procedure, explain the basic positions, and then run through the most commonly used parts of parliamentary procedure. So why do we use this thing called parliamentary procedure? Parliamentary procedure gives structure and order to otherwise chaotic meetings. It helps ensure measures and ideas, not people, are debated, lets everyone speak in turn, and allows the majority to carry out informed decisions through active and balanced debate. Now we will run through the key points in parliamentary procedure. This is the chair, whose job it is to control and direct the meetings. The clerk assists the chair while reading and maintaining bills. These are two members of the assembly who make, debate, and vote on motions. Is there any unfinished business? No. Unfinished business is any business that was not concluded in previous meetings. Is there any new business? In the order of new business, any new business, such as proposals, motions, or changes to the standing rules, can be brought up. I have a point of order. Please state your name and delegation. Point of order is used to interrupt any speaker who isn't following parliamentary procedure. In this case, he forgot to introduce himself. Before any delegate addresses the assembly, they must first be addressed by the chair, and secondly, they must state their name and delegation. Only then can they start speaking, unless they are using either point of information or point of order. Ian McKnight, Black River Delegation. I move to open Senate Bill number 64, found on page 18. When opening a bill, use the phrasing, I move to open either Senate or House, bill number blank, found on page blank. Opening a bill allows discussion on and changes to the bill, such as an amendment. The motion to open a bill requires a second, is not debatable, and requires a majority vote in the affirmative to pass. How does this differ from most motions? Most motions first require a second, in which another delegate says second, indicating their support for the motion. After this, most motions become open for debate where delegates can participate in discussion and make changes to the motion. Then the motion goes to a vote. Opening a bill, remember, is not debatable. It simply requires a second and then goes to a vote. I move to open Senate Bill number 64, found on page 18. Is there a second? Seconded. All in favor of opening Senate Bill number 64, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please signify by saying nay. You can only vote once, and after the votes have been cast, the chair decides which side had the majority. If the ayes have the majority, it passes. If the nays have the majority, the motion fails. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The motion has passed. <coughs> Clerk, will you please read the bill? Additionally, you can appeal the chair's decision with division before the gavel has been struck. This forces the chair to take an exact count of the votes. Point of information? Point of information can be used any time someone else isn't speaking. It is used to inquire about parliamentary procedure. Where shall I face while I'm speaking? Can anyone address that question? I can. While you are addressing the assembly as a whole, face the chair and direct your comments to issues and ideas, not individuals. An amendment changes the text of a motion. Like most motions, it requires a second, is debatable, and requires a majority vote in the affirmative to pass. I need to make an amendment to strike out section 5. Is there a second? The phrasing used is, I move to make an amendment, and then you use either to insert, to add, to strike out, to strike out and insert, or to substitute with. Make sure to clarify what section the changes are affecting, and if it is a longer amendment, 
have it written down first. Additionally, if your amendment doesn't change the meaning of a motion, for example, by adding correct punctuation, it is classified as a friendly amendment. The phrasing used is, I move to make a friendly amendment, and in this case, only a second is required to pass the motion. In every other way, it functions just like a regular amendment. Elliot? Emma Peters, Holland Delegation, I move the previous question. Is there a second? Second. The previous question requires a second, is not debatable, and requires a majority vote in the affirmative to pass. If it is passed, the assembly moves to an immediate vote on the current motion. Thank you for watching this Michigan Youth and Government video on parliamentary procedure.